Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to go over all the details of the inbuilt replay tool that MSFS 2024 comes with. Uh, we are going to start with the Cessna 172 at Seattle and I'll go over each and every function in detail and we'll explore what the use cases are. Before we get into the topic, please make sure you leave a like on the video and please subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel a lot and it also helps with my motivation to keep these videos coming. It is free and you can always unsubscribe if you think I'm wasting your time. So please help me out with those couple of clicks. All right, now on to the replay tool. Okay, so to bring up the replay tool, you need to hover on the top here and then click on FCR that is flight control replay and that should bring up this window a uh, couple of nuts here I was not able to make it work with lossless scaling still don't know if it's something to do with the dual monitor setup or if it's something to do with lossless scaling not being able to handle multiple windows on MSFS 2024 but just uh, just a quick note there and another thing is uh, sometimes this window will open up very small uh, just this small rectangle uh, just exit out of it a couple of times and hit FCR again and that should bring up the full window at least it has for me so you have all these options here and we'll go over each of these one by one starting with the ghost option if you click on ghost you will see that there'll be another aircraft which spawns right in front of you and I see a use case for this one where you're trying to land and you're trying to practice the landing and you're not not able to kind of gauge your height above the runway right before flare you will see that now you have an aircraft right in front of you which you can see it from a third person view on how high you are and where to flare and I feel like this will this will help a lot of people flare correctly so that's one use case you can also use this as a as a medium to like take some cool photographs with multiple airplanes uh, it's not just one ghost airplane by the way if you click on this plus button here that will spawn another one uh, if you want to reduce the height and bring them to the same altitude you can do that right and you can change the angle and you can also change the distance on how far that airplane needs to be from you can also be behind you it can be ahead of you wherever so you get the point here so this i button here with uh, with a line on it will basically hide all your ghost airplanes and then if you click on this one again it will bring them back up but then again i've seen that if you have multiple airplanes created and if you click on this i button that will disable the ghost and it will also delete all your airplanes that you have set up so i'm not sure why it is that way not sure if it's a bug but that's what happens so just be careful if you have multiple airplanes made up and you have a full formation going already if you by mistake click on this one it is going to remove all your ghosts and then if you click on the click on the eye again it will only bring up the one airplane so yeah be careful there i think that's all um, that's all i have on the ghost there's one more there's one more option here delay so if you well, you cannot go negative on delay, but if you add any delay, uh, it will add that much delay to the ghost airplane. If you just took off, it will probably take off after three seconds. You get the point. So that's all about the ghost option that we have here and, uh, and about the use cases that I see for this ghost option. If you see more, leave them down in the comment section below. Okay, so the next option we have is the record option click on that it's fairly intuitive i'll go with the sky camera first so that that is out of the way and then we'll go over these functions here so sky camera if you click on it you'll see that it will give you a nice front view of your flight so if let's say if you've recorded a full flight uh, through the fcr you can probably use this camera as a uh, as a medium to record a full time lapse of the flight so that's the application i see but let's start recording and let's start our uh, takeoff here so that we can record a nice takeoff I'm going to do a soft field takeoff so full throttle uh, we'll pull the yoke just a tad bit I've seen that in uh, MSFS if you pull it fully like you do in real world it'll probably just stall on you so we pull the yoke just enough to take off from the ground and then stay in ground effect a little wobbly there not the best 75 knots you start climbing up okay 75 knots uh, positive rate of climb flaps up and then pull up more to keep it at 75 very real behavior here apart from that initial wobble that we saw nice so this takeoff is done now if you hit this button again that will stop your recording but it will still keep you in your current reality when you click the play button that's where it will bring you back to the ground where you started and uh, it will start playing your whole takeoff 
Now there's a few options here. If you click the stop button, that will always put you at your initial point and give you control of the airplane. If you click the play button again, that will again bring you to the initial point, but it will start playing your takeoff recording. So that's pretty cool. And then uh, let's say at this point you think that you did something wrong and you want to take the control of your airplane. You can just hit take airplane control and that will give you control in the middle of the replay. So now I am controlling the airplane fully and creating a new parallel reality to the one that we just created or to the to the master reality that already exists. So all the Marvel fans assemble in the comment section. Now uh, if you hit play again that will bring us back to the ground start playing our master reality that we had created initially. Okay. If you hit play button again that will pause your master reality. So none of your parallel realities that you create uh, will be saved. They are just for you to like fly and practice unless you actually record that new reality. Right. So you'll see that there's still some bugs here where the, where the airspeed just cl keeps climbing even though we have paused it. So and minor things that they still need to probably resolve and then as you hit play it again goes back. So yeah, those kind of things, uh, those kind of bugs are still there. But so now you understand what take plane control does, right? Uh, there's another option called fly by camera. So what this does is it'll give you an outside view. So once you click on fly by camera, it'll you, you'll see that it does nothing. Uh, but after clicking fly by camera, you need to hit the play button for it to actually start showing you uh, the outside view and this is exactly what it is. It will show you an outside view of the airplane um, at different phases of that replay. I don't see a use case for this honestly uh, because I would probably either use my drone camera or external camera to record my replays anyway. So not a big not a big fan of this fly by camera option. And then the last one that you have is uh, Let's say you want to go back to your starting point and let's say I want to play my recording but at 2x or 4x. So I would click on this 2x and then if I play the recording it is going to play at double the speed. Now if I click on it again it's going to go to 4x but it will also pause the recording. So in order to start playing again at 4x you, you, need, to, you need to click on the play button again and now it's going to play at 4x. If you hit it again, it's going to be 1x, but then again, you need to hit the play button again so that it starts playing at 1x. Hope that makes sense. Uh, I think it's this this menu is uh, fairly simple, I would say. So let's go back to our initial point here. And then let's So if you click on 2x on the left side, that is going to slow down your recording to half the speed. So this is more like a slow-mo. Same way if you click on it again and if you go 4x and then hit play, that is going to slow down your recording by four times. So again, if you want to watch your landing in slow-mo and see how you touch down and stuff, you can probably use this function, quite useful. If you click on it again, it will again pause your video and then if you hit play, it's going to start playing it at 1x speed again. So all of that, hopefully it makes sense. Now we recorded our takeoff of roughly like 59 seconds. Uh, we are back to our starting point and we are paused. The last option that I wanted to go over was saving your recording. So when you hit save, it is going to save your recording as this. Uh, name so it'll have your airplane your time and all of that once you save it You can go back and then if you want to load that replay again You need to go to load replay and then just make sure you remember the time that you saved this recording at Otherwise, uh, you'll probably be confused on what's going on But I see that the latest ones are being saved at 
the bottom you'll see that 1611 is the latest one so if i want to play that one i'll hit play and then i can play it okay so that's uh that's basically all the functionality we have under record and load replay okay now the next option you have is instant replay which is uh, i would say it's very similar to the record option but the difference here is that you can only record a few uh, moments from your flight uh, you might if you've played other games you might have seen uh, this instant replay option where let's say you did something wrong and you want to just uh, you want to rewind a few seconds and then come back play that moment again that's that's exactly what this is so what i would suggest is just hit the stop button once and then let's record our instant replay of the takeoff. So I'm going to do a short field takeoff here. Uh, we did a sh we did a soft field last time. So see how this goes. Airspeed is alive. And there's 55 knots. And we'll climb at 60 knots here. Try to. Okay, so now when you hit the play button, you're going to be able to replay that uh, that full takeoff. Similar to record, you can also save that here. If I hit save, then it'll get saved uh, with the time, date, and everything. If you hit stop, again, you can take airplane control just like the just like the record option. Um, if you hit stop, it is going to completely remove everything. Like your your initial reality that you recorded is now gone, and you are in this new reality, and that's being instant recorded as well so now if you hit play you just recorded this new reality right in the record option the only difference was that that master reality always stayed but here if you hit this stop button you're basically resetting everything and you are creating this new master reality hope that makes sense when i explain it that way again when you hit the play button you'll be able to only replay the recent master reality that you created okay and then again, you can always take airplane control in the middle of it. Uh, let's say I uh, let's say I did something wrong and I just I just crashed the airplane. Okay. What I can do is I can just play that part again. And exactly where I started banking, I can say take airplane control, and then take the airplane control back. I've seen this function in Formula One games and other other car games as well, where you you're about to crash and you can just replay the last 10, 15 seconds, whatever, um, and then uh, get back in the game. So that's exactly what this is. Again, uh, slowing down, speeding up, all of this remains the same. Uh, saving remains the same. Sky camera function remains the same. So that's basically what instant replay has to offer. Okay, so the next option is load play as AI. This is a really cool one. So hang in there. So you can, to start with, you can put in the distance off offset, angle offset, and altitude offset. Uh, I'm going to put in a distance offset of 0.05. So it'll appear 0.05 nautical miles ahead of me. Angle offset of 15. So it'll appear uh, 15 degrees on the right. And then altitude offset of zero. That means it'll appear exactly at the uh, at the altitude that I am at. The fun part here is that you are, you're able to load the flight that you've already flown. So for example, I, I, I took off here, right? On this replay, which we just saved. You can basically bring up your own ghost that you just saved and then fly in formation with that. Now I see a, I see a pretty big use case here and I'll show you how. So you can basically follow this airplane and practice formation flying with that airplane that you just recorded the flight you just already recorded so look at that that airplane will be flying and you can just keep flying with it and practice formation flying or whatever this is really cool One downside here is that you can only uh, bring up one of your recordings. You cannot uh, spawn multiple recordings of yours. So that's one thing. But still, this is amazing. This is really cool. 
I did not observe any wake turbulence from the ghost that it creates. So I'm assuming that it's just something that's visually available. And then as soon as that, that recording is done, that airplane will just uh, disappear, basically. So that's a really cool feature. And then uh, while we are flying here, I'll show you the configuration menu real quick. So for configuration, what it is, is basically it allows you to set up your flyby camera. So the distance from the airplane, when it goes outside, the camera will be 0.05 nautical miles from the airplane. The camera angle will be at 90 degrees. You can change that and then camera change max distance. So when does the camera reset again? Because you saw with the flyby camera where it just constantly keeps resetting. So that you can set it here. If, if, it, if the airplane is 0.1 nautical miles or more away from the camera, then the camera will just reset again to 90 degrees and 0.05 nautical miles from the, from the airplane. So these are the options that you have for camera configuration. And then for sky camera, you have these offsets. So you can set up these offsets to, uh, to, see, where the, to see where the sky camera should be in relation to your airplane. So let's say if I set a right offset of maybe three, uh, and if I go to, let's say record and sky camera, that will create an offset to the right by three units, whatever that unit is, and show me the camera from that uh, right side. There are still some bugs in the, in other airplanes you'll see with the, with the landing gear not deploying or deploying when it shouldn't be things like that so i think they will uh, they will iron those out uh, as as the sim matures more but this is a very very cool much more usable replay tool than than we had for uh, msfs 2020 so that's uh, that's amazing but anyway that's it for this video and thanks a lot if you're still watching and like i said before please make sure you leave a like subscribe to the channel it's free and you can always unsubscribe if i start wasting your time thank you again for uh, tuning in and i will see you on the next one